Welcome to an episode of Hard Lessons with Demel Hanna. I am your host, Demel Hanna. Today, my first video, we're going to be talking about gangs and the reason why you should never consider joining one. Let's go. I'm born and raised in Chicago, Illinois. Uh, you know, I come up in a gang culture. Uh, you know, every gang that you could think of, you know, uh, that you have heard came from here. I've probably been around them, uh, you know. I grew up around them. I had some type of interaction with them. Whether it was bad or good, unfortunately, I've lived the life. Uh, 17, two days before my 18th birthday, I came in contact with um, law enforcement. You know, I was, uh, I was beaten, brother, lose, brother, beaten, brutalized, and uh, tortured into signing the false confession. That resulted in me being charged with first degree murder. I spent, uh, uh, I believe, 16 months in Cook County, uh, high intense gang culture. Uh, I was active. Uh, I did 18 years in prison. Well, I did 16 years technically in prison, 18 and a half, 18 years and three months in the Illinois Department of Corrections, what I call corruptions. Uh, so I'm going to tell you uh, why you shouldn't even consider uh, joining a gang. I wish I could go back. Uh, unfortunately, reality doesn't have a reset button, so hopefully my experiences will help you make better decisions with your life. Uh, the, you know, a lot of us try to say, I ain't in no gang, I'm in an organization. Okay, whatever. You know, gang, organization, clique, fraction, whatever you want to call it, you know, uh, it all predates the back, you know, the derivative of all this stuff is gang, period. You know what I mean? I believe the first gangs over here in America was like the, the 40 bandits or the Irish thieves or something. I know they was Irishmen, you know what I mean? But uh, uh, my desire to, uh, you know, become active in the culture was basically because my brother and them, I had two older brothers, you know what I mean? And, you know, they didn't, they father died when, when they were young. So uh, their influences were guys outside you know, guys down the street, guys on the other block. That's who influenced them. Uh, you know, in Chicago, uh, gangs are very prevalent. Again, whether it's a gang, a clique, a fraction, an organization, whatever the hell you want to call it, whatever. Uh, but, you know, different organizational members uh, are very prevalent in the city of Chicago. That's why, you know, it is a, it is a lot of crime here. Uh, because of the because of the differences that the gangs and the fractions and the cliques have, uh, so you know my desire was based off you know uh, what I seen outside, what I seen my brother and them do. Unfortunately, in hindsight, uh, I can't go back and undo some of the things I did. I wish I could. I wish I never would have joined. I wish I had the, uh, the fortitude, the courage to tell my brother and them, no, I don't want to be involved in that type of activity. But I thought it was cool. It looked it cool. It, was, it looked fun. So just like many other young men and women, I was negatively influenced into becoming active in the culture. And again, the worst decision I made in my 40 years of existing on this earth. Uh, you know, uh, when you become a gang member, essentially, you become a prostitute. You can't do nothing on your own volition. Nothing. You know, you can't do shit. You can't do nothing. You just basically, you're a robot. You do as the gang commission you to do. Uh, it ain't no damn democracy. It is a dictatorship. If you are called upon to do something and you don't do it, you will be ousted. You know what I mean? You know, you don't, you don't get reprimands in this. This is grown man shit. 
Ain't no reprimands being handed to you, you know. They go kick your ass or they go out shoot. And hopefully you don't have any tattoos associated with that particular gang, clique, fraction, organization, what have you, because some, some organizations I know, uh, <laughs> they will carve that sign off your ass. If a sign is on your arm, they will literally carve that sign off you, man. If it's on your back, I know y'all done synced into some of these movies and some of these other TV series that uh, reinforce the culture or try to, uh, you know, some of them glorify the culture and it shouldn't be because ain't nothing cool about a damn gang. If somebody, I know the rappers make it look cool and, you know, they be rapping and they be throwing up their little signs and they look all cool because they're in the video with the girl and they, and they got the cars and, you know, they throwing up their sign. They look so tough, right? Lies. The majority of rappers that are affiliated with any type of organization, clique, fraction, gang, what have you, they have paid to be associated with that gang strictly for protection. You know, now some of them, some of them, you know, they grow up in it, whatever, you know, and they become a rap star and they still promote the game, which is stupid to me. That makes no damn sense. <laughs> you join the game with gang essentially for protection to get the hell up out of the whatever environment you are in, you know, because the, these, vi these environments in which we, we spring from are very gang cultured. On this block, you got this. On this block, you got that. On that block, you got that. So you align yourself with, you know, typically the people that you grew up with. And you try to make it out of that damn environment by way of aligning yourself with some type of fraction. Hopefully, they could cover you until you get the hell out the hood. So why the hell do you become successful and now you want to gang bang? That shit makes no sense to me. But... Uh, this was some of our rap stars preferred to do. But what I'm telling you is that ain't nothing good coming out of a gang, man. You literally are a prostitute, man. And I don't care how high you rise through the ranks. You could become the number two guy. Well, the number two guy is still a prostitute to the number one guy. You know what I mean? So you still going to be... And when I say prostitute, I don't mean you, you, you go be selling some ass. You go be doing something worse than selling some ass. You selling your life. Your life. You might lose your life, not your ass. Oh, you, you might lose your life, man, literally. You know, so, you know, you go be, when, they, when, when your number is called upon, you can't say, oh, I'm sick. I can't go shoot them guys. Well, you better get well fast. You better get well real fast, man. Because your, your number is up. And you ain't put in the work. You better get your... I don't give a fuck if your head falling off. You understand? Don't nobody care. There ain't no love in the game, man. Ain't no love, man. The majority of guys that are, that, that are betrayed are betrayed by one of their associates. You know, I'm not going to name his name, but... You know the little rap guy that just turned government snitch? He told on all his buddies. Ain't no love, man. Ain't no loyalty. You know, it ain't nothing but somebody. It, you're, you're just an expendable pawn, man. Pawn. That's what you are in the gang. You are an expendable pawn. And somebody will throw your ass away so fast to save they ass. Don't nobody care about you in this gang shit, man. This shit is like so like... It's like so... It's, 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 everything that they tell you, just... just it's, 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 everything that they tell you, believe not. Believe not. Because none of it is true. Ain't nobody gonna love you. Ain't nobody, oh, man, it's game to the end. They lying, man. They lying. They, they, just, they just blowing hot air, man. Ain't no game to the end shit. The, the, the moment you step foot in the jail, uh, hopefully you ain't got no cute baby mama or cute wife. Because that gang member, that man you brought around her, he trying to stick something in her. Yeah. 
much what the gang is about, man. It's about using your ass. They go use your ass until you can't until you can't be used anymore. You know? It's like, man, you're like a you're like a pipe. You're like a pipe. That they've been they've been using and abusing that damn pipe, man. They've been smoking all type of shit in that pipe, crack, uh, uh, uh heroin. You can smoke heroin, uh, meth, weed. They've been smoking all type of shit in that pipe. Now the pipe finally don't smoke no more. That's what you are, man. When you don't smoke no more, when you're no longer useful, they go throw your ass away. You ain't gonna be shit to the game. To the clique, to the mob, to the organization. You ain't gonna be shit, man. You just gonna be something that they used and abused, then threw away. You know? Then threw away. You gonna feel so low. You gonna be like, damn, man. I'm a human being. How can they do me like this? Well, they did the previous 20, 30, 40, 50 motherfuckers just like that, man. You ain't special. That's what I'm telling you. You is not special. So when you decide to join the gang, organization, clique, fraction, whatever the hell you desire to call it, prefer whatever, Know that you are signing your life over to some people that you prop. You ain't going to never meet the head motherfucker. You ain't going to never meet the person that started the game. <laughs> like, I am associated with an organization. If y'all haven't seen me on a show, I would not name because I don't know if it might be some privacy rights or something. But I'm out there, you know, and I talked about my affiliation, you know, and I still got love for the ideology in which I embraced because it did. It had some good, some good stuff. It taught me how to be a man. It emphasized education. It emphasized economic building. It emphasized socialism. It, it, it emphasized political awareness. It emphasized a whole lot of great things. But I wish I wouldn't have joined. That is the honest truth, man. I wish I wouldn't have joined. You know, I probably wouldn't have went to prison. I probably wouldn't have been in some of the shootouts. I probably wouldn't have lost some of my friends because I influenced some of my friends to join. So if I wouldn't have joined, I wouldn't have influenced them to join. You know, so... A lot of bad things happened to me because I was a part of a particular movement that some other individuals hated. They despised. And they were my friends before I joined. And they were friends of mine before they joined the organizations, fractions, clique, what have you. And you see how this gang shit break up friendships? Not only do it break up friendships, it break up families, man. Because you may become this and your brother may become something else. And somebody in your clique, fraction gang may hurt somebody in your brother, clique, fraction gang. And now your brother hate your clique, fraction gang. And now you hate his clique, fraction gang. And now the whole damn family is divided because of this gang bullshit that you embraced. If I can tell you any type of advice, man, I'm telling you, do not join a fucking gang, man. It's going to be the worst mistake of your life, man. I'm not bullshitting you. It ain't nothing good go come out of you joining a gang, man. Nothing but bullshit. Nothing but headaches. Nothing but stress. Nothing but pain. That's all the fuck you're going to endure in the gang. That's it. You ain't going to do it. No oh, man, that was a great moment. You're not going to have those. Ain't no great moments in the game, man. Nothing. You're ducking bullets. You're ducking the police. If you get too big, you're ducking the federal government because somebody has snitched on you and told them that you got something in your house. It ain't no good times go occur being a member. None, man. It's nothing. Go it's going to be all bad times. I 
I, I, I'm telling you, you can line up 40 game members and they will tell you they, had, they didn't have any fun while in the gang. None. You ain't going to have no fun. You're just going to have a lot of heartaches, man, a lot of hardships. I promise you. I promise you. So, on this episode, man, you know, uh, I hope that I reached you in some type of capacity and I deterred you off that road in which you was headed on joining a damn gang fraction organization because some rapper, some athlete, you seen throw up some damn signs and you thought it was cool. Well, I'm telling you it's not. I did 18 years and six months, three months, excuse me. Uh, and uh, I, I, I wish... Uh, uh, I, I was innocent of my crime, but I wasn't an innocent guy. And uh, joining the gang was, a, was really one of the worst mistakes I made in my teenage years, in my adolescent years, you know, becoming a gang member. That was the, the worst mistake I made. Becoming a full-fledged member of a street fraction organization, click gang, whatever the hell you desire to call it. It was, it was my worst mistake, and it's going to be yours too. Guarantee it's going to be yours. So if I can give you any advice today, I'm telling you, don't join a gang. Don't join a clique. Don't join an organization. Be your own man. Be your own leader. Don't be a prostitute. Don't be a hoe. Don't be a hoe because the gang going to work you like a hoe. You gonna always be tired. You ain't going to get no benefits. You ain't going to reap no damn, ain't, ain't, ain't no retirement plans. You just go be a hoe that been abused and misused. Don't be a hoe. Expendable pun. Man. You know what I mean? Uh, because uh, they, want, they want you to take blood when you enter the gang. And they want you to take blood 